Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, this is probably, the, well, this is the first speech I've given at a Toastmasters, but what you may not know is I have joined Toastmasters before. Um, Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is where I lived before I moved out to New Hampshire a couple of years ago, um, is where I attended my first Toastmasters meeting. It was at Canterbury Green, which happens to be the second largest apartment complex in the country. And uh, that's where I resided for about three years in Indiana, uh, right on a golf course. And so it was really nice to get out and go golfing after work. Um, I love doing that. But at the clubhouse, they had the Toastmasters. That's where I met. And so I decided to go on up and, and see what it was all about and definitely enjoyed it. Um, I, uh, I gave a couple of speeches there. just. Um, impromptu speeches, things like that, but never did the icebreaker speech. And um, it, probably the highlight of the whole Toastmasters experience for me there was winning a pair of black dress socks at the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, Fort Wayne, Indiana was, does hold a special place in, in my life because that's where I met my wife, Cindy. And we met there about three months before she was reassigned to New York. So we did the, the long distance thing for a whole year. Uh, we planned a really neat trip while we were doing the long distance thing, which was a trip down to Key West, Florida. And we wanted to scuba dive down to Key West, Florida. So the only problem was we weren't certified. And we had to figure out how to certify before this big trip, which happened to be in November. Labor Day is the weekend we decided to try to get our certification and we wanted to just shotgun it one weekend which I'm not sure how many of you are certified scuba divers but it usually takes a little longer than a weekend to get certified and we managed to do it and so we were all pumped up after a long hard week of uh, getting certified and we made the trip down Key West unfortunately right after we got to Key West a big storm brewed and all the scuba diving trips were canceled. <laughs> a lot of work for not. But we were walking up Duval Street the last day that we were there and happened to come across this shack. And this guy said, well, you know what? If you're willing to take the chance, I'll take you out. We can head about an hour out to the ocean. And the currents are strong enough out there. There's a reef. It might, maybe, you know, the currents may have cleared out the, um, the particles in the water so you get the visibility to be able to dive. So we went ahead and did it. We took the chance, went all the way out there. So we're standing right on the edge of the boat about, oh, I don't know, an hour out into the ocean and getting ready to take that first step into the water. And I don't know, it was a pretty nerve-wracking experience. <laughs> but, but we did it. We took, we took the step, splashed into the water, and we've been hooked ever since. So um, outdoor activities is something I love to do. Um, whether it's scuba diving, snorkeling, whether it's uh, hiking in the mountains, uh, water skiing, it's just one of the things that, that I really like to do. Um, I think back to college, I graduated at Iowa State, I'm originally from Iowa, and graduated from Iowa State. One year we went ahead and decided to take a whole trip down to the Grand, Grand Canyon, me and uh, an entire floor, a dorm floor. and. It was just a phenomenal experience being able to backpack the Grand Canyon. It's just a, a gorgeous place. And um, not too long ago, my parents came up from Iowa to visit my wife and I, and we took them up to Acadia National Park, and we camped right on the Somme Sound. And it was just an, an incredible experience watching the lobster boats 30 feet out from our campsite and watching the, the sailboat races. And uh, it's just been real neat being out in New Hampshire as a whole different area from Iowa where you'd be looking at the cornfields. Uh, <laughs> so it, it's, it's been special, it's been fun. One of the main, main reasons my wife and I moved out here was to get closer to family. And we have a lot of family who have migrated out from Iowa, interestingly enough, whether it's Vermont, New York, uh, New Jersey, Manhattan. So now we're an hour to maybe a four hour drive circumference to get to a lot of family. Whereas in Indiana, it was a, a plane ride. So that was one of the main driving forces we decided to move out here shortly after we got married a couple of years ago. Um, and now I'm an expectant father, as I said in the introduction. So that's, uh, I guess, the next part of my journey. And uh, you know, I, 
I've, I've always enjoyed the saying, life is a journey, not a destination. And so we are definitely looking forward to being parents now.